Hello, and welcome to the Texas Instruments Precision Lab series on isolation. Precision Labs is a comprehensive online curriculum for analog engineers, and more videos can be found by going to ti.com slash precision labs. In this video, we will discuss what isolated modulators are and when to use them. The agenda for this lesson is to first introduce what an isolated modulator is, Next, we will cover why isolated modulators are used. Then, we'll discuss common applications for isolated modulators. And lastly, we will go over some key electrical and isolation specifications. Let's start by defining what an isolated modulator is. An isolated modulator is a delta sigma modulator that converts an analog input signal into a high-speed digital bitstream of ones and zeros while the input and output circuitry are separated by an isolation barrier. This isolation barrier is highly resistant to electromagnetic interference, commonly known as EMI. Interference is a disturbance generated by an external source that negatively affects an electrical circuit. While there are several different methods for achieving isolation, the purpose of the isolated modulator is to prevent noise currents on a high common mode voltage line from entering the local system ground and interfering with or damaging the low voltage circuitry. In other words, isolated modulators protect one ground from another, isolate certain parts of the same circuit, or separate different circuits from each other. So how is an isolated modulator different from a non-isolated modulator? Let's take a closer look at the functional block diagram of an isolated modulator. As previously mentioned, isolated modulators take an analog signal on the input and produce a digital bitstream on the output. The input of an isolated modulator is fully differential and drives a delta sigma modulator that continuously oversamples the analog input signal. The delta sigma modulator uses a voltage reference and a clock to convert the analog input signal to a continuous one-bit output stream that is then transferred across the isolation barrier. The isolated data output of the modulator produces a stream of digital ones and zeros at the same frequency as the clock source. When these ones and zeros are averaged over time, the serial bit stream is proportional to the analog input voltage. Let's also take a quick look at the isolation barrier. TI's capacitive isolation technology offers two different types of isolation, basic and reinforced. Basic isolation is implemented with a single capacitive barrier, while reinforced uses two capacitive barriers in series. For more information on these two types of isolation, please visit ti.com isolation and click on the isolated ADCs link. Isolated modulators are widely used in many industrial and automotive applications, but why are they needed? The most common reason is protection from ground loops. Electrical installations can cause a large ground potential difference between two remote nodes, ground one and ground two. A direct connection between these two nodes closes the ground loop. Electric motors can inject large noise currents into the ground, thus creating a ground loop current that can appear in the signal path. Isolated modulators remove the signal path noise from the ground loop and protect the system from ground loop potential differences. The second reason for using an isolated modulator is protection against high voltage. When industrial equipment is running at hundreds of volts, isolated modulators can safely withstand high voltage surges that can damage equipment or harm humans. Here are two common applications for isolated modulators current sensing, and voltage sensing. For shunt-based current sensing, the input voltage range of the isolated modulator determines the value of the shunt resistor based on the current to be measured. Low power or battery operated applications benefit from less power dissipation through the shunt, which can be achieved by reducing the shunt resistance and pairing it with an appropriately sized modulator input range. TI offers isolated modulators with both a plus minus 50 millivolt and a plus minus 250 millivolt input range. In addition, many of these devices include a variety of integrated features such as an internal voltage reference, internal clock, and Manchester coded or uncoded bitstream output options. While current sensing is the most common application for isolated modulators, they can also be used for voltage sensing. 
To learn how to optimize the input of an isolated modulator for voltage sensing, please check the TI Design Library. For additional isolated modulator resources, please visit ti.com isolation and click on the Isolated ADCs link. When choosing an isolated modulator, several specifications have to be considered. Let's start with defining input offset error. A differential input signal of zero volts ideally produces a stream of ones and zeros that are high 50% of the time and low 50% of the time. Offset error is the analog input difference between the ideal and the actual offset point when the digital output is zero. This error affects all codes by the same amount. Keep in mind that the offset error is dependent on changes over temperature, which is quantified by offset error drift. Next is gain error, which is the percentage difference between the ideal gain and the measured gain. To describe the changes in gain over temperature, the gain error drift parameter is used. Now we will go over some common isolation specifications. First, we will consider isolation working voltage, which is the maximum voltage defined in volts RMS that the isolated modulator has to handle on a continuous basis throughout its operating life. Next, isolation transient over voltage is the voltage defined in volts peak that the isolated modulator can tolerate for 60 seconds. Lastly, we have to define the common mode transient immunity, or CMTI, which describes the maximum rate of change of ground potential difference that the isolated modulator can withstand without errors. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Please try the quiz at the link below to check your understanding of this video's content.